So the problem asks us to find the equation of the line if we're given a point and a slope. So what I did was, I just kind of made up, because guys, you can, I, whenever you're taking a test, if you want, if you're a visual person, flip over your test and write a graph what it looks like, okay? Make yourself a little graph. If you need to visualize it, make yourself a little graph. So the question asks, if I was given a slope and a y-intercept, find the equation of the line. Now I'm gonna show you the graphical way, and then I'm gonna actually go into an algebraic way we can do this. So if I was given my point two four, Right? And I know my slope is up is 1 over 2. That tells me I can go up 1 over 2 units. Right? It also tells me I can go down 1 to the left 2 units. And therefore, I can graph my line. Now, the reason why I might want to graph it is because I need to know, remember, if I want to fi I said find the equation of the line, right? Remember, the equation of the line, you have to know what your slope is and what your y-intercept is. You already were given what the slope was. So they already told you m was 1 half, but you didn't know what the y-intercept was, did you? Right? You didn't know. Right. So you had to graph it. So you could have, you graphed it and said, oh, when I follow the slope, what I see is, um, Fahad, could you move over there, please? What you notice is the y-intercept is going to equal one, two, three. So you have y equals one half x plus three. Okay? Make sense? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's say this graph is way too hard to graph. Okay? It's too hard to graph, or maybe I don't want to graph it, but I want to do something algebraically to do it. I imposed you guys, here's the slope intercept form. The other way I want to show you is what we call the point slope form. <laughs> okay, so what this problem states, what this problem states is you have a y and a y and an x and an x. Now what I did was I distinguished my y with the y1 and my x with the x1. If you were given um, actually, you know, let's just use y2 max, too. Remember, guys, remember our slope formula? If you're given two points, we can distinguish our, our points with uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You guys remember that for slope formula? Yes, sir. That's where this comes from. It's from the slope formula. And what you guys remember, remember you said, what were x and y, what was x1, y1, y2, x2, what were those points? Well, remember, those are just given if you had two points, <coughs> right? If I gave you two points, you could plug in those two points into your formula and solve. Well, here, we're only given one point, right? You're only given one point. Your only point is two comma four. So what do I do with my other two y and x? You don't have to do anything to them, okay? Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve. So what you're gonna do is this is what we call point slope form. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in one point and we're going to plug in one slope into our formula. Now, you can plug in your point for either x's, right? Remember I said it doesn't matter which x you use, is it x1 or x2, as long as you're consistent. So it doesn't matter what you want to plug these in for. Do you want to make these x1, x, y1, or x2, y2? It doesn't matter. However, I'll tell you, you're going to make your life easier if you plug them in for x2 and y2. So let's plug in my x value and my y value. My y value would be 4 minus, I'm sorry, plug them in for x1 and y1, I'm sorry. So you have y2 minus 4. So you're going to make your life easier if you plug them in for x1 and y1. So you plug in uh, 4 for y1 equals, what's my slope? one half times x2 minus my x value, which is two. Okay, now to not make you guys so confused, do I have more than one x and y here? I only have one y and one x, right? Yeah. So I don't need these little twos anymore. The only reason why we use the twos and the ones were to distinguish between our x and our y's. 
Since I plugged in that point, I only have an X and one Y, we don't need to keep on writing those little subscripts. So now what we need to do is we need to put it in slope intercept form. So I need to solve. So I can say Y minus four equals one half X minus two. First thing I want to do is do the straighter property. Y minus four equals one half X minus one. Then the next thing, I need to get this Y by itself, right? So what's left on this Y? Y minus four, to undo that, I need to add four. Therefore, I get Y equals one half X plus three. So, do you guys notice? Look at my answer. Do you guys see it's exactly the same? All right, so I just wanna show you guys, there's two different ways that you can graph this, and actually a third way that I'll show you as well. You find your slope, I'm sorry, you find your slope and your point, and if you guys plug them into this equation for x1 and y1, you can solve for y and you'll get your equation. You could also just graph it, just graph it, and then plug it in, okay? Man, you guys are like zombies. Yeah, thank you for hot. All right, that's good.